So we have Shrek. No, I'm just kidding. No. Shrek? <laughs> I, I mean, it's a good they design. It's a good design. That's, that's, that's a mean, good that's ass design. Valid, though, right? Like, that's yeah, kinda, yeah. For, yeah. It is. It is. For that's kind of hot, like, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very hot. Is not a word yo, I would yo, use. Yo. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome to the ninth episode of the Arcast Podcast. My name is Didi Mark, and I am here with my co-host, Third PHP. And today we have another guest. And you know, I if you haven't heard of this person, I'd be genuinely surprised because they're an amazing artist. And uh, what I want you to do after watching or listening to this episode is just go and find them on social media. I'm pretty sure Instagram and Twitter is where they're at, and give them a hey, follow. But and follow. You, <laughs> you said what? Subscribe and follow. Like subscribe and follow. And yeah and there you go you just heard you just heard her voice that is uh carbon fiber the most badass name i've ever heard um uh, also known as leah yeah, leah, leah welcome to the welcome to the podcast how you doing yeah I'm good you know it's a uh, pretty hot where i'm at but you know ready for I'm the, not gonna let you. the mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i got a fan on right now i am half naked it's hot oh, as shit it's over so here. cold in here how is it hot lucky you my Lucky you, I, bro. I have a I have a, on it, and I have a pull over. Uh, God damn it, dude. Oh, we're talking I, about America here, okay? Like for real, mm. here it's like, like Jesus it's hot. I, I got no, I got no shirt on. I got tidy whities on, and that's it. Jesus, uh, damn. I, I, that's a joke. I don't wear tidy whities. <laughs> tidy whities? <laughs> no, I, I don't. Okay. Chill out. I don't do that. Um. Okay. Uh, you Leah, you said what? Panties. Well, everybody knows yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Of course. Uh, Leah, if you want to introduce yourself <laughs> to the people, you know, kind of, you can tell them what you do, what type of artist you are. I don't know, whatever you want to say, introduce yourself. You can give personal information if you like. I strongly, you know, not recommend it, but you can do it if you want. Go ahead. Okay, so, um, you know, I'm 19. My social security number is, uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh no, that's, anyway. That's too I... much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, um, I'm 19, uh, 19 year old artist student i like to draw but i'm also doing my uh like a bachelor's degree in uh biomedical sciences that's my major yes, um sir. yeah represent you know i didn't represent for sure for sure exactly um but yeah did, like did, did, did you do that degree because you liked it or were yeah. you um were you well, convinced by someone Mm, well, the thing is that, like, nobody, like, actually coerced me into, the, like, you know, getting into it. But uh, it mm -hmm. was more like a thing where um, there's, like, a sense of uh, security or, you know, like, actual certainty of, like, where you could end up when it comes to, like, mm. uh, studying, like, a scientific field. Because, like, it doesn't matter where you go. You, you could always, like, find uh a career and like doing something concerning like health public health you know okay. uh, it's a like safe that. plan it's exactly it's plan a. yeah she's chasing that bag she's chasing that bag that's pretty much what she's saying and yo guys if you're listening to this episode i don't know if you've picked up on it already and i personally think this i don't know if she'll agree or disagree i kind of don't give a fuck i think leah is like the female version of me like she's yeah. done she's doing science her energy her her sense of humor is just off the walls like me and she's loud She's literally female me, and maybe as the episode go goes on, you see what I'm talking about. If you know me, if you watch my videos, if you like my videos, she's basically female me. It's kind of funny to me. Is that like a flex or something right now? Damn. <laughs> I mean, Gaty uh... <laughs> Mark literally flexing. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on with the episode. Okay, let's move on with the episode. Um, <laughs> Leah, if you can, can you talk about how you found Third or not? I don't know. Like, you, you, you obviously knew Third. We kind of just met like what two days ago or something. But how did you yeah, find Third? How the how the heck did we meet? Did we meet? So like I don't I don't think you remember because like it was like in the middle of uh, like the whole quarantine thing. So like the the thing about it was I started like drawing around like 2019, like late 2019, and uh, I started like meeting people more so like starting 2020. And uh, around that time was when sort of like the voice me thing was was starting. Um oh. and then. Yeah, and when they created, like, the server, um, which was, like, after they did, like, the thing of, like, the... Like, around the same time that they did, like, the test run for, like, uh, the people that were gonna draw, like, uh, a god, god game. game. Yeah, you were in the f***ing server. And then... Oh, I, I, yeah, I didn't f***ing know who you were at all. Like, I just... Only, I only knew you were f***ing, like, Philippine or something. Um, <laughs> or something. <laughs> or something. Oh, yeah, like, no, 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 because, like, I traced it to, like, the time zone... Cause like there's there's certain people 
and like there were certain people in the in the server that already knew that you were like one of the artists that wanted to like draw a uh, god game so i was like okay okay and then like i noticed that the there's some people that were more active like in a certain like time zone and then you were in that group and i was like oh probably like uh southeastern south asia around there um Damn. yeah like you, i kind of figured you were filipino you got an asian brain jesus christ yeah yeah <laughs> Wow, this is a very diverse podcast, guys. I am a black, aka a Negro man. Third is uh, <laughs> I'm a chink man. I okay, can but... I can say yeah, that. I can yeah, say you, that. You, you can say that. You can say that. And uh, uh, Leah, what are you? What are you? I'm a. Mm, so, like you know, Leah. That name mm. is Chinese. Get the fuck out of here! And by the yeah. way, uh, it's spelled nah. L I Y A. That's Chinese. L I Y A, and that is like the. The Roman English like, version is it that? Yeah. Is that like yeah? Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. That's crazy. Because yeah, Chinese people uh, use like English version of their Chinese name, right? Wait. Yeah. So yeah, it's hold uh, on. Basically, you're Chinese. You're not Chinese. What the fuck? I'm you... not, no, I didn't say. Was... No, 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 the right. name. No, no, the name. The name. I mean, the name oh. is Chinese, right. So like, if you like, if you trace it back, like, mm-hmm. yeah, like what Spanish. the fuck are you? So like. I'm from like the Caribbean, right? And mm-hmm. around cool. like yeah, like around like the commun like when Cuba started being communist, um wow. the, the mm. Chinese uh came to like build railroads in Cuba. Oh my and then, god. History and then, podcast. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then after <laughs> yeah, after they like after Cuba went like basically fucking bankrupt, they moved out of there. Um, and they also got, like, bad blood, like, between, like, the countries and everything, but they moved out, and one of the countries that they came to was, uh, mine, which is, like, Puerto Rico. Basically, like... Long story short, you're Puerto Rican. God, that is the longest <laughs> way to say just got, Puerto Rican. Bro, I, I just got educated, and that was fun. Yeah, that was a whole I history. I didn't know that. I'm, I'm with it. Yeah. I'm with yeah, it. Yeah, exactly, um, but, like, you know, like, there's, like, a, like, a background to, like, the name and shit, so, like... No, yeah. that's, that's nice. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my name's David because my parents like Bible. Um, that's my explanation. Pretty simple. Um, Damn. Third, actually, I've never asked you this before. Why is your name third? Like, wh- I don't where? Know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just it like. Out. My dad was like, "Hey, hey, we, we should third? do this. this yeah. Motherfucker, third. Yeah. Like, sure. It kind of sounds good in Tagalog, to be honest. Yeah, bro. Imagine. How do you, like, how do you know that? Because I've heard, because like um, Tagalog has a lot of uh, commonalities with Spanish. Canary. Yeah, but how do you know what? How do you know what his name sounds like in that? Oh, because I've oh, heard it's, people it's, it's in Tagalog. Third. Yeah. No, it's I mean, okay. They they call me third, 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 like, third. third, like like really like a poop, you know, shit, shit. Oh, yeah. they call me third. third. Without yeah, the like, age. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But like the way that uh, Tagalog is pronounced. It's just like a lot of like uh, the consonants are like super close to each other. Like so, it's yeah, like, exactly. So it's <laughs> what, so it a, what a poetic, beautiful language. No, mm-hmm. <laughs> I beg to mm-hmm. differ. Okay, mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Let's let's move on. Let's keep grilling. Uh, hey, what are we? Grilling what we're talking about? I forgot. I have no clue, but I'm I'm circling back to the point of the of the podcast. We're just kind of getting to know Leah, our guest here. So Leah, mm-hmm. you're an artist. Otherwise, why would you know you wouldn't be here if you weren't one? But you're an artist. And so my question to you is, how did you get into art? Because we all have our stories. How did you get into art? Go ahead and tell the people and us. So um, I, I I did say this like earlier, but like I got into like drawing more so around uh, 2019. Had like some experience with like, you know, sort of like how Photoshop worked because I had had it like a little like school laptop and like that that was it. And I only had like, only like one or two like sort of quote unquote paintings um that I had done like on like when I was like twelve or something. But then I never like, you know, drew anything much after that. And then in twenty nineteen when like the COVID thing happened, I had like nothing basically to do that was like, you know, kinda like mentally challenging in a way that, you know, I could like pressure myself to like do. And then drawing was that thing for me, like in that moment. But yeah, it was a, it was basically more like a, like in in my head at that in that moment, it was like more uh, like a way that I could uh, express like a story that I had thought of in like that you know time of my life. But then it 
slowly evolved into something that I would like continuously keep doing is if that makes sense because like I don't know it was like a really weird like dopamine thing <laughs> that happened with it yeah no, no, that's that's relatable because that's what happened to I think most of most artists including me it's I'm about to say that our last but, guest pretty much had the same story like the whole quarantine thing yeah like honesty yeah 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 no but honesty is like he started professionally at 12 but he got he re he really improved that uh like during quarantine yeah quarantine was just a i don't know a time a period for a lot of artists to really step their shit up i mean i was busy playing fortnite and you know for eight hours a <laughs> I, I, I played... not gonna lie i played some league of legends and some fortnite at that time but yeah. oh so you're you're a degenerate okay you like league of legends okay I, that's I'm the most degenerate asian yeah yeah okay sure. all right you know yeah. we won't we'll talk too much about that but yeah uh, my next question art related for you leah is you yes. kind of talked about your journey or like you know kind of how you got into it and I'm currently looking at your page right now. There's a sort of satisfaction to your art style. I can't quite put my finger on it. I, I don't know what it is. I think it's the way you draw faces, but whatever, I digress. The point is, I want to know, what are your main artistic influences? Like, what? who did you study or like, who did you really like think? Who do you think molded your art style as it is right now? Uh, That's an interesting question because I, how do I say, I've never done like a study of like anyone in particular my my drawings are sort of more influenced of like my my way of like remembering things like for example in that era of like quarantine um dr stone had come out right and i would like mm -hmm. read it sometimes like during the week and but and like i noticed that the, the the way i would picture people and things in my head would come out sort of looking like that but it was it's it would it was never like a thing where i was like oh my god like i want to draw like boichi or anything like that it was more like a like a progression of like manual like skill like mechanic like you know like a mechanism of my wrist and like you know arm muscles i guess and yeah. uh, something also related to like the way that i growing up and like getting older it was like a thing where i started focusing on like different aspects of like the things that i liked and that transmitted to like what exactly I was drawing. But yeah, when I guess like uh, inspirations, it's uh, maybe Katsuya Tera, maybe. He's a good, mm. a cool artist. Um, I like him because he likes lines a lot and I really mm -hmm. like lines. Yeah, I can see I can see that in your work. You like you like lines yeah. for sure, for sure. I, oh, mm. Lines, life, dude. Woo. <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't complain about that answer. That's a, that's a very good answer to that question of like your artistic influences. And I like hearing that because it almost sort of like uh, you can kind of appreciate the person's art on a new level where you kind of know what the building blocks for it were. So I, I, I can say for a fact that that's kind of what I'm experiencing looking at your work again, knowing now what I know based off what you just said. But before I move on with the question, because I have some questions, I have some questions that I think might be very interesting. Third, did you have anything you wanted to ask Leah here? Yeah, yeah. When we were talking about the, the pandemic and games, I just wanted to ask if you if you gamed, if you if you game, you know. Oh uh, my one, god! Oh. Actually, actually, I during um the pandemic um there was uh, this period in which I was playing a lot of really old games that I had, like Mario sixty four. I played Street yeah, Fighter. Did you play Mario sixty four? Where do you play that? Yeah, yeah, like NES or DS. Uh, I had it on both actually. Jesus, bro, I wanna, I wanna buy NES so bad. I wanna speed run that shit. That's like one of my favorite games. Ew, it's it's my one, one of my favorite games, dude. Like, dude, oh, it's so I, good. You know how Mario just like, oh my, it's like the be one of the best parts is like how Mario just like jumps through the paintings and like the sound it makes like when he goes. No. Like, Bro, like the glitch thing where you spam spam the jump thing. I wanna try oh that. Like, I've been, oh my yeah, oh my god. I've been so trying to do that on DS, and then I discovered like not a long time ago that you can't do that. You can only do that in any NES. And there's there's different types of types of glitch on DS where you can like glitch out of uh, Luigi's room and just finish the game right away. You but, can, yeah. Yeah, Dude. but I think NES is is better because there's so many like ways to get stars very fast. Sorry, Diddy, mm -hmm. but this no, was. This, I, I'm, I'm listening. I, like I mean, I don't, I don't really like Nintendo at all, but so I, I don't know shit about it. So I'm not gonna oh, talk at all. You. Mario 64 is like, how can I say? Like, if you played every or like at least two uh, Mario Kart games, if you you played Mario 64 and you would feel like so freaky, like you would be like 
chased by the goddamn chompers, killed. You would swim, drown. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I know. I I, I find it hard funny. to understand, or like I don't know. I can't. I can't really imagine a grown ass man that didn't like you know that didn't play Mario as a kid or whatever, getting into it brand new. Because I never played any of that shit when I was a kid because we couldn't afford video games at all. So like my first experience with Mario was when I was like grown as fuck, and it's like this kind of watch, watch watch this streamer. Watch this uh, a streamer named Small Lands. He what? um I don't know if you know. Do you know Small Lands? Um, Leah. Um, I have some I, of the streams actually, but not yeah, much. I, I'm I'm pretty sure he started playing uh, Super Mario not a long time ago, maybe like when he was a a teenager or like almost an adult. But he got into Super Mario and now he speed runs like Odyssey. He speed runs um a shit ton of Mario games, and he's he really Mario good Galaxy. at it. Yo, Mario Galaxy. Yeah, Gal- Mario Galaxy too. There are people, Diddy. Where so where? Hey, oh, maybe wait, maybe wait, wait, I don't disagree, but maybe I'm just a Toxic wait, man, man. Wait. No, listen, listen. Yeah, pro, 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 <laughs> maybe close-minded kind of. You gotta listen. You gotta get indoctrinated. Listen, listen. Like if you yeah, have what not. What the fuck? <laughs> you, you were deep throwing that shit, dude. Deep throwing <laughs> that mic. You were deep throwing this goddamn mic. Is like Mario, okay? Like if you <laughs> have played Mario before, you have to play Mario Galaxy. You're gonna love the fuck out of that shit. It's so freaking good for like, okay. My dad, he never like played Mario that much. Viewers' ears, Lear, our viewers' ears. <laughs> Let me laugh. Oh, yeah. oh my god, dude! Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy. Mario okay, Galaxy. okay, I'll take I'll take your word for it. I have a Switch. Is it on Switch? Uh, is can, it on no, Switch? yeah, yeah. You, you can you can you can play Wii games on on, on Switch. Okay, but good. I you have, have Switch. Good. Yeah, you have you have to do the you have to add that subscription thingy though. Ah, bullshit. Because, if you have that, you no, you can play every. Like you can play Mario Classic. You can play. I don't, I don't care about no Nintendo games. I don't care about every. But you know, oh, I'll try. Yeah, we can. Okay, it's hard. It's hard to convince someone who doesn't want to be convinced. So let's. Yeah. It's like I'm just a let's toxic madman. The games I like is like is there blood? No, is there? I was, is there I was right about that. It's hard to convince someone who's hard to convince. Like who's just who just I, not who just don't want to be convinced. Sound close, no, you're making me sound close minded. I'm, I am open minded. I'll give it a try. But like. When you hear shit that's up my like, you know, my favorite game is Last of Us Two, partly because I like beating people's faces open. You know, Mario is like a little it's colorful like it's fat because man. of the story. Okay, I gotta take that out. I called Mario fat. That, that's problematic. Okay, I, I take that out. Okay. Oh, that's, okay. no, 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 don't take that out. Don't take that out. That's funny. That's no, funny. but like the thing is that like I like there's like an appeal to like Last of Us, right? But like the thing about Mario Galaxy is that. First of all, the the sound design is amazing, and just like the like the experience of playing it is awesome. And also, just Mario Gas is like the the example here. It's more about uh, it's there's a story, and it is engaging. Um, you get to go to like different places. You get to see like the all the boss designs, all the like you know mob designs and everything. And and you know you can have mm-hmm. fun just solving puzzles and stuff. It's okay, fun. does Mario blow people's brains at open with a rifle? No. Ah, see, uh, see. You don't need that for a good game. You don't need that for a good game. Like a game doesn't intrinsically have. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. But ah, you know, I'll give it a try. There's just nothing about Mario that kind of like makes me. Yeah, it's it's more about preference, right? It's more about preference. You prefer those Call of Duty games where you. you, Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a game where there is no like violence that I've played, and that's kind of sad. But I don't think I've ever tried a game where there's not like violence in it. You have That's to try crazy. it. Swear to God, so good, so good. That's crazy. Well, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I've played Sonic on a Game Boy. Um, I've played a lot of games actually, uh, without any violence. I mean, bro, even Mario has a little bit of violence in it, to be honest. Bloody violence. Uh, it's just there's just no blood, you know. Uh... Ah. Like, yeah, like yeah. If you tell him like there's no blood, then it's just like a thing. The the thing about it is that. You know, you have to learn how to have fun without, like, you know, like, you know, having people suffer like that. You know, <laughs> I'm monkey. I'm a little. I'm a little monkey brain. If the, I like, I like blood and gore and shit like that. But uh, okay. Speaking of games, W transition. Leah, mm-hmm. what is your job? What is your well, job? Well, sort of like my job, right? So I uh, mostly what I do is like do character designs for like indie ish. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I basically design the characters according to like uh, whatever the game is for. I usually, mm. my usual, you know, go-to is uh, fighting games. But, uh, but yeah, mm. I, I, that's what I do normally uh, when I'm like out drawing or like doing anything, uh, you know, ca- yeah. drawing related. Yeah. 
Okay, do you so have any? Had... Do you have any? This are, sorry, sorry. Do you yeah, have no, any like? Go ahead, go ahead. Do you have any fighting games preference? Because since you like those type of oh, um, yeah. character designing, oh, yeah. because because listen, there's this new there, there's like uh, new trailers that came out Street Fighter Tekken. I don't know mm-hmm. if you played those before. I love mm-hmm. both of them. Um, to be honest, I've never played Street Fighter only Tekken because I got that on my PSP when I was a kid. But I want to oh. try the new Street Fighter, and I'm excited for it. Yeah. I am very excited for the new Street Fighter, but I am offended that you have not played any Street Fighter game. But, uh... <laughs> I was poor, okay? Leave me alone. Bro, bro, it's like... Dude, I... First of all, like, the, when I played Street Fighter, it was in a, in an arcade. Oh! And... Okay, 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 now, okay, okay, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, yeah I, I, I played I played Street Fighter before, but in, in the, the arcade thing where you have to put coins. And yeah, exactly. You, like, I've have... never... Yeah. yeah, like, I never bought, like, a... Yeah, like but that was a kid though. I, I was like, I was not... like seven. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like the thing about Street Fighter is that, well, what I liked about it compared to like stuff like Mortal Kombat, right, was that it was so fun to look at and play without having to like have to like rip off the spine or anything. I love that about Mortal Kombat. But like, just like the simple sort of like setup of Street Fighter, just is like so captivating in terms of like design and stuff. I love the designs in King of Fight and. Also, Street Fighter and Guilty Gear. I like the. I didn't exactly oh, love. Oh, I played. I played. I played a little bit. Yeah. Did Gear. you play like the newest one? Right. You played the newest one. No, no, I haven't. But I, I want to. I, I just don't have time now. I, I don't even know if I could play everything I want. I, I, I even wanted to play um the Last of Us one again, but I just, mm-hmm. I just, just can't get the time. Bro, you gotta work. work. Didi, but Didi like... would love that. Bro, we should, we should do that one day. Would you do like stream Last of Us? Yeah, yeah, play it together or something. Yeah, hell yeah, I'd be down for that shit. <laughs> hell yeah. It's funny because I guess I'm just a brainless monkey brain. You know what I mean? I just like violence. Like, um, Leah was just saying she prefers uh, Street Fighter to Mortal Kombat because, yeah, Mortal Kombat is cool. You can rip off spies and shit, but there's something simplistic about Street I'm like, no, no, that's why I prefer Mortal Kombat. You can't rip off <laughs> spines in Street Fighter. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, might I, just I, need some therapy. I love I love Mortal Kombat. I don't think I don't, I have preference. They're just like a different type of games that you can't really. Yeah. I don't know. I just I just like both. Even Tekken. I like Tekken too. You know. And yeah, I so... like actually like the like the newest one that came out, like the the graphics and everything. I love those. The thing is that when it comes to Street Fighter, the colors and everything that they used in Street Fighter, like even uh the Street Fighter One. Just like the like the simple silhouettes and everything were so good because like just by looking at the character you could kind of like tell what their fighting style was. Like you saw Ryu, and you're like okay yeah like he's martial artist, and then you saw Ken, and he was like you know also martial artist, but he obviously had like a different personality, and that would imply like a different fighting style. And oh my god, so freaking good. And then yeah. Chun Li, oh my god, ah. I hate mm-hmm. her new design in the fucking new game. That shit can suck my ass. That's disgusting. Hey yo, hey yo, D- 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 Didi. Wait, wait. Didi said Didi's like like you're the girl version of of, of him. That's that's uh-huh. wrong. You're like the the twice of Didi Mark. Actually. Yeah, I thought I thought I was a, I thought I cursed like a sailor. You know, I look. You take that back. She's like me on crack. That's what. That's what <laughs> she, yeah. Dude, I swear to God, I saw wait, that. To me, shit, and I was like, I was pissed. I was like, pissed as fuck. I was like, who? Like, I know that they're doing it to like appeal to like the uh, the Chinese um, beauty standard, but no. Who the fuck said? Who Hold the on. fuck? Said? Where? What's the where? Which one is this? This new design, and I want to see it. Um, the new trailer one. The new trailer. Yeah, but for Chun Li. I don't keep up with this shit. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to you on Discord. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Google yeah, new Chun Li. Chun Li Street Fighter Six. Street Fighter Six, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, d- honestly, drew that the the design. When did you draw that shit? Uh, th- a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, when, I don't, really, keep, I don't really keep up with. Uh... I, I told you, third, I'm emo now. I don't really keep up with a lot of artists anymore. Oh, that was that was like two months ago. So... Okay, I might have seen it back then, but I don't remember. Yeah. Let's see, Chun Li Street Fighter Six. Let's see. I think Lee. I think you would like uh, Apex Legends because they they have those clean. Okay, now, that, now that's a with, game that I've with... played. Yeah, yeah, and and also the designs. It, like uh, I see that you, you know, you you pay attention to the designs, the gameplay, and I was just, just about uh, to point you know I was how this. Yeah, um, like Apex Legends, they have some cool designs. Uh, I think Valorant too, but Apex is more 
Um, Apex has like, like really good designs. Yeah, it's more versatile. You move a lot more. You know, you 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 actually um, re- uh, rely on your movements instead of aim. Mm-hmm. But you you also need good aim. But in Valorant, mo- in Valorant, it's like CS go with with superpowers. You know. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Yeah. yeah uh, I get tilted in Valorant when I lose, but in Apex, bro, it's <laughs> it's so fun. Even if you lose, like, oh shit, I just got killed. That's so cool. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> it's amazing oh. feeling. Okay, <laughs> so one thing that I noticed, uh, Leo, when you're talking about video games, is you kept on like the uh, sort of like an emphasis on the designs, and that kind of goes to show, at least to me, how really into character design, that character design that you are. That, yeah. Is that good? Is that good English? Oh well, who cares? But Bro, uh, I know for English I know for broken, f- I any yeah, but English. I speak English. Why am I why am I struggling? But um, <laughs> I, I know for a point. fact a lot of people have like messaged me, and a lot of people like in my YouTube comments. Can you make a character design video? Blah blah blah. How do you character design? So you know, just for the people who might be watching and might actually be curious to like want to know how to character design, and mm-hmm. also because it would be good clickbait for the day for the title of this episode. Can you like yeah, sort of so. yeah? Can you sort of like go over your character design process, like your thought process from you know when you get a prompt from like the uh, the person who's kind of like hiring you or whatever? Essentially, just teach how to character design as best as you can. Right. Okay. Okay. So there's like two, I would say like there's two ways to look at it, depending on like your personality as an artist, right? I I can narrow it down to like two. So you have Mm -hmm. the one that is like more focused on like expressing solely with like the design, um, everything that the character is about and Mm -hmm. uh, trying to make it like a whole map of like just looking at the character, like it leads your eye all over the design. Like for yes. example, uh, Soul Bad Guy on uh, uh, from Guilty Gear, he has like he has a very heavy design, right? <laughs> like mm-hmm. he has like a uh, how can I say it's it's very loaded, but it, overall it has like very interesting shapes and everything that you know leads your eye through like all of it, right? And then another one is like more focused on like the whole um, looking at it, like right, like just from the first glance you take at it. Yeah. Um, it's you already know what the character is bam like that's it um sort of like take on uh character design if you Mm -hmm. if like the person is if you're looking for a really really good character design like the the prime things you need to think about are basically the silhouette of it Mm. um let's say that it's like an animation that's that's very good too yeah because like the thing about it is that even if it's like a if it's like a, a human proportion like a normal proportion character if Mm. whatever accessory that character has has to like imply something about like who they are and like what they like and everything like that so um that's Mm -hmm. a very important aspect like you can't just be like oh my gosh a belt yeah yeah a a good example yeah uh, sorry to cut you off a good example that whenever i bring that point up to people who ask me about character design because that is that is very important that if you're teaching someone how to character design you have to do you have to mention like the silhouette aspect of it kind of adds uh like like you pretty much what you said an example that i always give is uh hidan from naruto he's mm-hmm. like a normally proportioned guy but that big that big scythe sword thing that he carries have you seen naruto leah yes yeah the big scythe sword thing that he carries around is like immediately if you see a silhouette you know oh that's hidan right exactly yes exactly so like it's like a thing where it's a uh, it's a big tell of like mm-hmm. how and like what the character will be doing like um let's say taking from like a i don't know like a random series i see like around my room so let's take for example kaiman from Doro he mm-hmm. like you can tell he, like his main you know significant thing is like his head right you see his head, like he has like super sharp like needles on his uh on his head, and you can already tell that he's like supposed to like be dangerous in a way. Like he's supposed yeah. to look mm-hmm. scary, right? But then mm-hmm. you look at his eyes, and the way that his eyes are drawn are easily stylized, so you can easily yeah. make him friendly at any moment. You can, so you can like you also have to like think about um. That's very. That's very how- true. Yeah, like how the character is going to look when they are like expressing themselves and everything like that and how they interact like with their own body accessories you know yeah um, that that i like that you mentioned the eyes because what what i think of is uh horikoshi kohei 
and how mm-hmm. he uses character design, like how he designs his characters, like subtle features like the shape of their head and like mostly their eyes to kind of communicate what kind of person they are. So like um, Bakugo, Bakugo's round head uh, and his uh, and his pointy eyes is like, oh, this is a guy that maybe uh, is a very temperamental character, but he can some, he's still someone that might be trusted, right? Would you agree that that's like a valid point that I just made there? It's, it's, it's valid. You can tell like he's a, like he's a he's young a kid. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So, you know, you yeah, can yeah. tell from that. Um, and yeah. uh, I feel like people like Hori, uh, Kohei, they, mm. they take this thing where they design a character in a way. Um, mm. And you can do this thing where they're exactly like the personality is exactly like what they look like. Or you can do like the opposite where. Yeah, it yeah I was just about to say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's kind of like that thing where you also have to like there's a very clear decision in like mm. character writing that you have to take as well if you're gonna design the character specifically for like yeah. a story dimension. yeah because that's that's so cool i was i was gonna use that whole uh thought process when it comes to character designing you can use it to subvert expectations with your audience like mm-hmm. um for example maybe there's a twist villain or something you can design a character with very soft round features or something like that yeah it, mm-hmm. it, it throws people off i think I think once you really understand the uh, the intricacies that goes into designing a character and like those little details like that, you can really you have a lot of room like a lot of room to like break those rules to your advantage and stuff like that. Yeah, but exactly. it, it made me think of a. Uh, have you guys have you have you guys read the uh, Erased? Yeah. Um, Ooh. it made me think of the 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 Erased. Uh, erased. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. It made me think of the final the final. Spoiler, villain. spoiler alert. Yeah. yeah spoiler, spoiler alert. Um. So you know the teacher. He he, yeah. he looks really kind, but in the end, he, he was the, the, the mastermind, and that really fucked me up when I that's when a I good found point. out. That's, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Exactly, and like the teacher's eyes, even though he looked really kind, the way mm-hmm. that they were drawn, you could change yeah. for him to be like you know creepy, mm-hmm. and they would still be the same eyes. It's just yeah. that the is catered yeah. to. So like yeah, you also have to think about like you know the the whole story function of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now that was that was very good. God. That's that's a good clip big right there. People are gonna click that. How to By the way, design. guys. Oh yeah. Um, okay. thoughts on new Pokemon games because you, we were talking about silhouettes and it made me think of the the old classic um the old generations of Pokemon's like when they do the sprites, especially mm-hmm. in games. You you mm-hmm. like like you basically know right away who's the Pokemon without even. Uh, without just just by seeing their silhouette. But now when I see the new ones, I I just don't I just don't understand. Um, yeah, I can't speak on that. I'm not really into Pokemon. I'm, okay, I okay. Oh, oh yeah, hey, yeah. fuck my bad. Listen, no, school, school, school. I know, I know all this shit. Cause like, okay, I mean, like, like, <laughs> Nintendo, of course, <laughs> Nintendo fan. Exactly, but not only that. It's because I've always liked. Cause like, my my thing is, um, I don't like uh, super uh complicated sort of like designs. Cause uh, there's like mm. a. You know, I really like how you could like just like t- glance and then just like know exactly what character you're looking at. And classic Pokemon had that, where the the the, the Pokemon itself would be like, for example, uh, Squirtle or like uh, Charmander. It would have Fucking like these, like, yeah, iconic iconic colors that you could like just tell what Pokemon it was. And right now they're going in like a route like very similar to like Digimon for some reason. Like, it gives yeah, me, like, right. those vibes where they're, like, you know, like, super uh, charged with, like, these, like, unnecessary sort of, like, details in them. And I'm, like, why are you doing this? Not only that, it pisses oh, me yo. off. Hey, yo. What I love about you two guys, when you love something, uh, you get so passionate, yeah, you start so sucking the mic off. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, okay, but listen, listen. The new, I don't know, okay, uh, listeners, listen. This is my personal opinion, but I would feel like a fucking dumbass writing my damn legendary Pokemon. Like, bitch, the way they turn into Transformers, oh my god, that shit made me cringe so bad. I was like, oh my god, what? (laughs) Mugui, I'm so sorry about your ears when you're editing this, bro. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, what's his name? Mugui, Mugui. M- M- yeah, Mugui's fucked. <laughs> this is <that's> gonna be <laughs> He's gonna laugh. Right He's gonna laugh. He's gonna laugh. Um, but I think a good place to look. I don't know much about Pokemon, but I, I but I think a good place to look when you want to see good character silhouettes is like Disney characters, right? Um, Aladdin, those pants. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. 
um, Wreck It Ralph, Baymax. I mean, see, okay, see, there's yeah. like Disney is just basic, like they're they're uh, animator gods. Yeah, they, 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 they hire the best. They of the do, best. Yeah, they do great designs. To be to be honest, even though uh, <laughs> very I iconic. Really, yeah, best never designs really are watched. their animal designs. To be honest, like they oh yeah, yeah for sure, are my good. Like they have um, like really good animal designs. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, moving on. I, I guess I kind of want to ask good, both of you guys. That's a good. That's t- oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. I, sorry, I was. Yeah. I just wanted to say that was that that was a good example. You you mean the Disney thing? Yeah, I didn't yeah, even yeah, think like, of it. Yeah, they have really good silhouettes. Like you're you're not looking at Mickey Mouse's silhouette and like you're not. not it's not even gonna take you a second to know who that is. You know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's why he's so iconic. Cause like yeah, even iconic. the guys can recognize it. I could keep mm-hmm. going, like uh, Mickey, uh, the genie from Aladdin, Pumbaa from Lion King, Baymax. I think I already said Baymax. Like, they're all, all mo- like, I can't even think of a Disney character that's just, like, kind of bland, you know, in design. I mean, there's probably some out there. But anyways, I wanted to ask you guys, what's your favorite character design of anything ever? If you can answer that question. Both favorite of character design? Oh, okay, you can go first, Liam. Yeah. Ever. Oh, my God, no. Um, my you, can, you can give that to our top five because I'm pretty sure you have a lot. Yeah, okay. she's a character design nerd. Yeah, like I have. Oof. Um, I'd say that. Wait, I let. Um, let me actually look on my phone. What character I have the most? On my phone. <laughs> okay. What, 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 mm-hmm. So we have Shrek. No, I'm just kidding. No. Shrek. <laughs> I, I mean, it's a good design. It's a good design. That's a good ass design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. That's kind of hot, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're hot. That's not a word yo, I would yo, use. <laughs> yeah, pull that it's out, Moogie. Like, <laughs> like, dude, come on. All right, um, all right. So I love, um, I really like Felicia from Darkstalkers. Okay. Uh, Felicia from Darkstalkers. I'm not, um. I'm Googling that, too. Heard, look it up. We Felicia have. Oh. Oh, shit. Ooh. Big blue hair, cat paws. Exactly. Oh, I've seen this character this multiple is, times this on is, Twitter. This is, this is so your style. Like, I've seen uh, Leah draw Bro. a lot. This is just what you're into. This like, is the way you draw hairs is, is similar to hers. It's, I'm talking about the boobs. Actually... <laughs> the boobs? <laughs> oh, the Leah boobs. loves was... drawing big boobs. I yeah, saw yeah. the hair and I was like, that's yeah. sick. No, yeah, this I, is actually I, the I, boobs, boobs too, good design. For sure. Exactly. It's so, so good. Like, oh my god. Um, mm. I love one of my other favorite favorite character designs. I can't deny that I mm-hmm. really really love Chun Li Akiman. I was, just, I was waiting for you to say that Chun Li. I know you love Chun Li. I love ah, I love that bitch. Um, <laughs> I love my, that bitch. <laughs> my <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my third favorite character design is um Batman, but like Batman. Which one? The, mm, I'd have to say that Batman, though the Batman that they designed for um, uh, Quarter Fowls. Mm, I love Quarter Fowls. Uh, yeah, I know you. Is that what you mean? But I feel like no, more like Batman in general. I just love like okay. the idea of like how they made his um, uh, like his like you know his like his, uh, his gloves, like his mask. Yeah, um, yeah, I get, I get what you mean. The general look of bro, Batman, the utility yeah. belt too. That's iconic. The yellow utility, right? utility belt. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's 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 the only time when it's it's really useful because mm-hmm. yeah, like it, like it actually has a function, you know. And when yeah. he, like when you uh like I don't know watch the movies or read the comics when he actually uses like the spikes on his gloves. Oh my god, mm-hmm. so bad. Oh. I've never. I, I don't think I've actually. I think I've. Never mind. I think I've seen him using like an old movie or something like that. Oh my and god. Also, did you guys watch Justice League? Because he used that the, shit once. The animated, uh, the animated movie or, or animated no, show? No, no, the series. The series. The animated series. The the cartoon. Yeah, I, I watched it when I was a kid. I, I can't say I remember much. Yeah, like I, that. Oh my god, it was so fucking bad. Oh my god, love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, my other favorite character design is Link from Ocarina of Time. Grown up. Mm-hmm. That's a good. That's good. Experience. I yeah. love that. It's so good. And last one, because I get, I can keep you here all night with the, like the fucking. I know you. I know you could. <laughs> <laughs> I love um the design that they did. Oh my god. Oh, which one do I choose? Oh my gosh. Wait, it's so the... many. <laughs> there's a Fuck. lot of there's a lot of characters out there. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear yours next, Diddy, because you're the mm-hmm. one who asked. Uh, so I don't know. 
Wait, wait, so I don't know if you know, but like, I really like the new blue, like the newest. Doesn't make it. No, Jaime. Jaime Reyes. Uh, that's the, the, that blue beetle. That blue, blue, beetle. blue beetle. Oh, shit. That's a good one. I know, yeah, right? That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. And then. I haven't seen it. Yeah, dude, look it up. Like, for like, a Blue Beetle's design, man. Yeah. Jaime Reyes. Yeah, Damn. that. So good. Wait, what? What? How do you how do you write it? Um, J A I M E. Uh huh. R E Y S. Yes, sir. Oh shit! Yeah, badass. It's this really cool. Sick. I know, right? It's super cool. cool. Yeah. No, just the blue, like the blue and the and like the distribution of holy blue fuck and the wing though. Sorry to cut you off. Holy Ruby was such, he's such an underrated superhero. Like, I wish, I wish, ah, I, I, never mind. I, I like gatekeeping him. I was gonna say I wish he was more popular, but never mind. I, I like, I like liking Blue Beetle, and everybody knows who he is. I know, right? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but like, he's no, getting, a, he's getting a movie though. Hope he, do, hopefully, he doesn't yeah, suck. You hear about I, that? Yeah, I, I look, I have seen like images and shit, and like the guy that plays yeah. him isn't Cobra like, Kai, I, right? yeah, exactly, yeah, him. Um, yeah pretty good for like the i like the casting i like the cast and i just hope the movie itself isn't bad yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um but yeah uh like, is that all the characters or did you say five i think yeah, yeah i think you did say five i did say five but i could say more. um okay i know you could wait, but wait. you know for, uh, what wait, there's one more there's one more i can't skip him I can't all right go ahead go ahead go ahead sometimes you just can't oh. No, I I don't know if you know who he is, but it's um his name is Mr. Terrific. <laughs> Mr. Um, Terrific? Mr. Yeah. Terrific. Oh, I've heard Mr. Terrific. That sounds yeah. familiar. Yeah, yeah, dude. Holy shit. Oh, okay, I've seen you this have before. Some, okay, to be honest, you have some W you have a yeah. W list. I mean, Holy shout out shit. to you for having somebody like a brother in here. That damn it's good to know that you represent. Oh, fuck that. That's, that's, that's Dude, nice. Mr. Is so badass with like his jacket and like just the teeth. Nah, like, yeah, it's, it's oh badass. My god. So cool. Like, oh, oh my god, I love it. I love it. So it is, cool. it is, it is cool. I'm not gonna oh. lie, that is, that is cool. Dude, not only that, like he's supposed to be like uh like the way that they designed him compared to like what his personality is, because like he's like supposed to be like a super genius. And mm -hmm. he's the one that makes like his like iconic like you know gadgets and stuff. And just like the, oh oh my god, mm -hmm. I love him. I love him so good. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I love it. No, it's, it's, it's a good design. It is. I'm looking at it again. That is fire. Uh, what, what about what about you? What about you? No, I want to hear yours first. I'm, I'm okay. I don't think I, I don't think I have up to five. I only have three and and a half. I was, three. Three I only have half. one. I can, I can, yeah, I was list. thinking about it. So one of my favorite character designs is uh, Kray uh, Kratos from God of War. I love that oh. design. Yeah, yeah right? that's an iconic one. Yeah, I love Kratos. Super iconic. I like, I personally like Chainsaw Man. Like, not Denji, but like the actual Chainsaw Head Chainsaw Man. I like that. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What kind of what kind of crack was Fujimoto want to think about a guy with a chainsaw? I don't know. You know, it. yeah, it's I love like Chainsaw Man. It's the shit ever and just like, you mm -hmm. know, let's have a fucking guy like a chainsaw <laughs> Yeah, Chainsaw Man with the like normal Chainsaw Man, and like when he goes uh that berserk type mode where he like gets like big and it's more yeah, yeah with the intestines around his neck and shit. That shit is fire. Oh yeah, I sell yeah. that. Yeah, that yeah, shit's that, fire. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. To be honest, yeah. I have Ghost Rider. Love Ghost Rider. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I love. Yeah, Ghost Rider is like the most one of the most badass character designs. I've ever I seen remember, I remember watching that. That 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 was like one of the first Marvel movies I ever. Cage? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah no, Ghost Rider is badass. Cage coming back in yes! Marvel. Yeah, that would be so fun. He needs, he needs to. He needs to. It'd be so he fun. Needs to. He needs to be Ghost Rider. Nobody else can be Ghost Rider. I swear to God. Yeah, no. yeah nah, Ghost Rider. And then this one is like this one's kind of half because. I don't I, I don't like the the design in the comics, but in the actual like live action TV show, I don't, I don't think that counts. It's a Homelander. Uh, from oh, the boys. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Well. Um... Like yeah. Like the thing about Homelander, I think that the most iconic thing about him is like the like his hair, like his yeah. blonde flaked back hair. Yeah. 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 Okay, the the okay, juxtaposition see, I... of the design and how he is as a person, I love that. Yeah. Okay. You know, he... so, so the boys. Uh, I'm a I'm a huge fan of the boys. I think. Uh, the, like the series is a, is a parody on it's a, a, a parody uh, on itself, like of of you know of, of superheroes, you know. Yeah. And I think Homelander 
like it's so well made to be like this generic um superman uh figure to to yeah. you know to normal people mm-hmm. and the fact that they represented a, a country to to this superhero is actually yeah that's what that's what, li- that's what i like that's what i like that's what i like about it that juxtaposition of like what his costume is supposed to represent and who he is as a person i think for me that yeah. makes, even though the design is fairly standard i feel like that kind of that the 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 character's personality and the design together kind of just makes it something really awesome in my eyes personally but yeah and that's all works, i can think of it works with him because like there's this thing mm-hmm. where you rarely see him out of like this quote unquote superhero costume anyway. Yeah. So it's like, I, you know. Has he ever actually been out of it before? Um, in the comics, there were like, no, you know, never. Not in the show, though. Not in the show. Oh, in the show. I actually in don't know. Show, but in the show, I have, I didn't see him like without the. I haven't seen this the the second or the third one because I always. Oh. You should watch it, bro. Uh, I also yeah, just I, remembered I gonna, another character yeah. really quick. Uh, sorry to cut you out third. I just remembered another character. I don't want to forget it. Octane from Apex. Love that design. You know who oh, Octane is? Okay. Oh, okay. I, I was so afraid of picking uh, characters from, from like, uh, nah. Valorant or Apex Legends. Yeah, nah, nah, you guys have good choice. Good, like, good list. Holy shit. Leah, Leah, do you know Octane? He's, like, the guy with, like, the teeth helmet. The... Yeah, like, no, like, no, like, he doesn't have real legs. Mugui, yeah, Mugui's gonna have fun because that is main. <laughs> he made Octane. Yeah. He will love this part because the Octane yeah. is the main. What, what about you, third? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well, I I only thought of one when you asked it the first time, but now I have. It's like it's pressuring me to to think to think of another. So I'm I think I'm gonna pick two. The first one is raised from Valorant. I just love okay. her. Like, I just love her suit. Like the like her her game. Like the way you place her, it just you know it just fits with her design i think it's the same for everyone in in the you say in, you say Ray, reyes rays rays uh, rays with, uh, with the hat the brazilian with, uh, one orange the orange yeah, the hat brazilian. yeah yeah the oh, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. With with the rocket change. one yeah, i actually yeah i love that design but they're yeah. all pretty good dude the thing about like rays i really like the um like the thing about her is that she has like a cap right and then mm. it kind of like picks up her hair like the only thing that kind of like moves her hair like the bottom parts of like the dreads right yeah and, then, and i love that shit like it looks so good and then her shoes have like the sole the like the not the soles but like the like the tongue of the shoe or is like kind of mm-hmm. like like super long and that kind of like also gives it movement like when she's like you know running around yeah bro like especially like um we, we like um like her her upper oh, like her bro, top yeah, her top, like, j- you know that well that she's she's pretty fast. Like, the, when you use her ch- satchel, like, I, I just think it's, uh, it's a pretty well mm-hmm. design. I, I don't have anything more to say. And also the grenade thing beside mm-hmm. her, you know. For real, exactly. That's, that's also good. Yeah. And yeah, and the second one is Echo from League of Legends. Echo, uh, okay. I don't yeah. know who that one is. Oh, really? I, but, this one? Yeah. Uh, okay. See, there's the arcane, there's the arcane version, and there's the uh, League of Legends version. Yeah, I knew, I knew, I recognized that name. Echoes from the arcane. Like, this yeah, is but like, listen, listen. There's like a, like there's the League of, there's like the, obviously like the arcane version, and then there's the League of Legends version. But in League of Legends, there's like different skins. So yeah, like, no, I'm talking about the originals. The, I'm, I'm talking about the original skins, not the the, the DLCs. Okay, yeah. okay, but like you know that the arcane one. It, is a skin, right? So you have to yeah, like. Yeah, bro. I was, sur- I was, I was sur- even, even the Jinx one too. The Jinx one, she has a skin for like uh, on League of Legends, the arcane version. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, like, which one would you pick? Like the one with the dreads or the one with the mohawk? Okay, uh, I, I prefer the one with the dreads. But mohawk is the ga- is the game, right? Not the show. Yeah. Okay. So in the mohawk, I, I'm so used to the mohawk. I'm, I'm still having mm. a hard time picking between those two. But the dreads is just. I think I draw I drew Echo too much. Now I just love the the dreads of his. Yeah, Echo. Yeah. Like I think I think all the designs in League of Legends are are pretty good. Uh, to mm-hmm. be honest. I, think, I think honestly I like the dreads more because like I like the how do I say it makes him look more like it suits his personality more in the like the show because like if you gave him like a super long mohawk in the arcade show it w- it would look like too. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, exactly. For, like what his like personality was, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But but if you played him in League of Legends, he's pretty cocky. So the the Mohawk works. 
Exactly. So, you know, you kind of like, you kind of like have to like, you know, yeah, yeah, the fact that, yeah, the, the show, like, you know. yeah the, the fact that the dreads goes down, it just, oh, bro, it's, it's so good with this character. Uh, I, I, prefer, I prefer the dreads as well. I'm looking at the dreads now. Yeah, I prefer the dreads personally. But yeah, man, there's a good, good, two good choices right there. Can't argue with any of that. But yeah, because I don't want this episode to run too long, let's kind of move on, right? Let's let's let's, let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it pushing. And um, I kind of want to know, uh, Leah, Third and I are uh, where we draw pretty much comics, essentially. Third is more webcomic. He can do both if he wants, but it's pretty much webcomic, and I'm, I'm manga. And I don't know if you want to talk about this publicly, but mm -hmm. when we were, when what we, like, just you and I were talking, you kind of told me about your story and stuff like that. You can, do you want to talk about that, like, on the episode at all? Like, do you want to just go into that? Maybe not talk about the summary, because, Lord, when I asked you about the summary, you went on for, like, 40 minutes, okay? So... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my yeah. god. You, you can you can give like a like a like a two sentence, three sentence synopsis so though. And something that I personally didn't hear from you when we talked about your story is mm -hmm. the title. You never told me a title. Do oh you have goodness. a title? Yeah, it has a title. <laughs> okay, so go ahead, tell us the title first, and then give oh. us a short, brief summary and what are your plans working on it? You don't have to go into too much detail, or you can go into as much or little detail as you want. But keep in mind, don't take forty minutes. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, such a hater. Um, I'm no, not no, hating. <laughs> you're, you're like, you're like, you know, complaining about my 40 minutes, bitch. You I'm not complaining. Pitches. I told you. What do you mean? We talked about it. And pitches. at the end. Suck your pitches. You know I suck your pitches. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> like, you let your work talk for you. Like, that's a good quality, I guess. Yeah. Know? Hell yeah. Thank oh, wow. Look at you turning that around. How nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about your story. The fuck happened? Oh, no. It wasn't listening. Oh Although we God. had a conversation like uh, yesterday and she kind of just told me about her story and she asked me to tell her about mine. And I was like, yeah, I suck at pitches. I just let people read it and do like the, you know, do the, let my work speak for itself. Because mm -hmm. third, you know that my stuff, it's it's kind of hard to talk about it without giving spoilers. Because all I do is just set up a bunch of questions. So it's like, mm -hmm. you ask me what is, what is it about? It's like, uh, I don't want to say it because I'll be answering some of these questions that I'm setting up in my stories, you know? Exactly, yeah. So basically, um, I think when they like hear this, but like they can go on my uh, Instagram and see like this. Uh, there's just one red-haired character that I always draw. So basically, uh, that uh, one character, uh, her name is like her name is Asuka, and uh, she's I draw her the most because I feel like she has like the most. Um, well, really, it's like all about her, like personality right but uh she has a she plays a very very important part of, of like the whole development of the story so that's the one that you mm. like tend to see the most um that i draw but uh the real main character is mm. blue guy the one with the really really big fucking eyebrows um like mm -hmm. buff guy um his blue, name is blue skin yes yes mm -hmm. and both of the names uh start with an a uh mm -hmm. very purposely and their siblings. So these two are like the main characters of the story. And to like sum it up, uh, at least in like two sentences, mm -hmm. basically you follow them trying okay. to prevent something from happening to like everything mm. you know in love that will, you know, they don't really know if they can stop it. And throughout yeah. the story, you kind of, there's different, you know, events that say, oh my gosh, like maybe they can do it yeah yeah <laughs> no like, no that, that that's that's intriguing it sets it yeah. makes me it has a like i have a lot of questions going in my head and that's kind of what you want you want to set up that intrigue right mm -hmm. yeah exactly so like so in the beginning you don't fucking know what it is that they're doing and uh mm -hmm. the the thing about them is that they're very um how do i say they're put in a position that they really shouldn't be put in uh because mm -hmm. they're not exactly like uh how do i say um the most uh paralytic of people or like you know the, the ones that you would actually say oh shit like you know they yeah. would actually want to like do something about this um but they mm. you know because like they feel basically mm. they're the ones that can in that moment um yeah. and uh, they kind of like drag along other people and those other people fucking die um <laughs> or, or you know they live and uh Basically, it's all about um, the the best way to say it is that what they're fighting against is like 
nature in a way. Or not nature, but like a oh, I got I got questions now. That that actually kinda hooked me. So you if know, you could say what genre is your story? Like like what genre is it? Supernatural I okay, I I would say that it's uh supernatural, sci fi and um mm. I would say kinda like I guess mostly Seinen, honestly. It's like basically Seinen. Mm. Like pretty yeah. simple. Seinen. Yeah, you don't you don't give off the vibe of shonen art style, you know, or shoujo, <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. So if you could say if you like, I, your your work doesn't have to be based on what you're about to say, but to sort of like how do I say? It? So for example, my story, the one that I'm going to release in a few days, uh, the be blog ruthless render coming out soon. It's if I if I wanted to pitch it to somebody who, you know, might not want to hear the whole spiel about what the story is about, I could be like, well. It's, it's a mix of like Chainsaw Man and The Exorcist, you know. Like, can you do that? Do you do you know of any like two popular properties that you would say is similar to like the type of story that you that you plan on telling? Do you, does that make sense? Yes, yeah. Um, so I'd say that it's kind of similar to. I'm thinking of like what I've read that similar. Mm-hmm. I think that the that the character dynamics are kind of similar to like Doro e Doro. I'd say it's like the closest one, and mm-hmm. in terms of like uh plot structure um it has a sort of like jojo aspect to it because it has like mm, a part yeah that's fine that's fine exactly so like and they kind of like all lead into each other but not like in a super direct way if you know mm. what i mean i know what you mean yeah so like i would say i would say kind of those two but that's interesting that's very I interesting i can't really think of like uh of like a like a manga sort of story that that is similar mm-hmm. to it. Um, that's fine. That's fine. You know, I think of a book, but like not. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. um, okay, so what is the title? I don't think you. Quite, I don't think you told us. What is the title of the story? N O A N. N O A N. No one or no, no one. one. No, no one. one or no one. No one. No one. Okay, I, I prefer no one. That's that's pretty. That's cool. that's cool. That's like that's kind of cool. Yeah. Is that is, is, there, is that a play is, of words or? Yeah, is that is. a name? Okay, let's Fuck say. yes. I love those type of... <laughs> yeah, so okay. A, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's a, mm-hmm. it's a play of words. So it's... So basically, it's initials. So it's an acronym. Um, yeah, I figured. Mm. That's cool. So That's cool. It's, you're supposed to read it as no one, like as in no one. And yeah. uh, all what it stands for is it's like a phrase that it's that is said very mm-hmm. like... As, it turns into like a... It's like a thing they, they mock akira for but um he was very like out of his element when he started like working with his sister which is you know azuka and um he said when he got to her office he was like god damn it what the fuck um there is <laughs> no no order absolutely none like he just like said it like super, okay i see i see, I like, see. He said it, like, yeah he said it like super like the joke about it is that he said it so um eloquently and like no order <laughs> not like even with a coma on it yeah was, that's that's not something people would say every day i get it he was like this, this motherfucker what the fuck you know and like and then you know it turned, it's like a so thing. No, one, no one no order actually none that's mm-hmm. that's good that's pretty, i like that that's, so that's so an awesome can you give us a timeline like the listeners maybe somebody that's heard your story now and like they were like about the nut to that shit it was like oh my god i need to read that now um mm-hmm. when do you expect chapter one to draw and i don't want to pressure you into like making a deadline that you can't you know keep up with or whatever but do you have like a do you have like an I- idea of when you would like it to release because the point of what i do the point of what third and i do is we would like to um at least a, a good part of what we do is we would like to get people to you know kind of graduate from being just that dreamer to the doer because you can't just sit around and imagine this story and well, I'm gonna be. It's gonna be popular one day. It's like, but you're not actually working on it. So, do you have an idea when you plan for it to come out? At least chapter one. Well, um, I'm actually gonna uh, be releasing like a lot of um, different uh, character art uh, of like the the story, right? So, the, mm-hmm. the first chapter is probably gonna release uh, like the middle or like like the at the beginning of next year, like 2003. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like the. The chapters themselves are structured in a way that I I have to fucking use um, Photoshop and Clip Studio like together, kind of mm-hmm. like at the time to like actually make it happen like the way that we want it to look like. 
that's stressful. But I, I get hey, you have an artistic yeah. vision. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, like but it's yeah. like kind of oh god, bro. It's like fucked up. But like you know, mm -hmm. um, it's it's this thing where like I I I like the thing that you're doing. Like you got like both of you guys are doing that. You know, taking like that leap forward to like making stuff that you. Mm -hmm. want. Um, and I kind of like noticed hey, that. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Only Diddy, only Diddy, not me. Hey, you draw God <laughs> game, sir. Come on now. No, no. Fine, Diddy. He's only one. Yeah, she's hesitating yeah. to give my flowers. Come on, come on, man. <laughs> Leah, you come on. Just give me a compliment. It won't kill you. It's okay. <laughs> okay, he's a gracious, like community service person. Yes, yes, yes. Good. I mean. Yes, but yeah. anyways, <laughs> that took time to, to get out. That yeah. that I heard, I heard her struggling to get out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh god, <laughs> no, but like, yeah. no, but um, I think it's interesting, like thinking of like the whole um, uh, struggle to actually put something together that you would like to, mm -hmm. you know, release and uh, for other people to like see and experience. Because like, at least for me, yeah. this thing where there's like a particular impression that i want to have on people that are reading it not mm -hmm. literally focused on the 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 audience uh, or like that it would be catered to but more like like when you first see it uh what you would exactly think of it and like the characters themselves um i especially made them for you to be like oh what the fuck like what the fuck is that eye she has like is that a glass fucking eye is that a cyborg guy blah blah You're like you know it was you know purposely yeah. made like look like some bunch of squiggles and shit um mm -hmm. and like the, like the big blue guy like the office like the shirt and everything mm -hmm. making him look, yeah. look calm and collected even though he looks like a fucking alien um, <laughs> you know it's a it's like this thing where I, i've met like a bunch of people that are like you know um i have like this story idea and stuff like that and i just don't know how to like put it together and stuff like that the, the thing is that you think about you know the story you want and then you just you know you write it like it you know it doesn't have to be like grammatically correct um and then you leave it there like you know fucking what are you simmering in your goddamn google docs then you mm -hmm. go back and, and you look and you're like okay okay i can like work with this when you already have something laid down it's like a lot easier um yeah. but there's another aspect to it when you're like an artist in which you know oh fuck like i'm not good enough to like you know do it yet and mm. i think that's one of the things that no, i all too like, well yeah like yeah. that's one of, the, one of my biggest weaknesses like i feel like like that's the thing that like constantly is like in the back of my head mm -hmm. uh you know especially with like the style i want the story to be in uh, a lot of people have told me oh shit like no you have to like have it more simple so that drawing the pages no, fuck them like it's more like like advice you know uh, like it's, you know mm -hmm. but like at the same time it's like i i know it'll take like a lot of time and effort but if it looks mm -hmm. like what i would want it to look like or close enough mm -hmm. you know, it's just like a very satisfying feeling so like I've, i imagine you've gotten that feeling before like with your you know uh metal soul yeah, yeah, metal. Yeah, wow, I can I can see you're such a big fan, but um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like no, I, I, I don't blame I, I, her. I mean, the murder like, scene, right? Here. I mean, two no, she just the murder scene. I'm no, the she just here. found me like two days ago. It's fine. Oh, uh, but dude, like for real, like I like I follow Saturday AM to like keep updated with like whatever they're doing. I follow like a bunch of like indie publishers just to know what it is that they're doing. But um, mm -hmm. I did see Metal Souls like a couple of times on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I, the thing is, like what we talked about before, like it's not free, so I'm not gonna actually like make yeah. the effort. Like, you know, I don't and... blame you. I don't blame. Wait, so you. Do you have do you have any like are there any platforms that you follow just to hate on? I'm kind of curious. Oh, uh, just to Leah, hate on. Leah uh, hates a lot of things, man. I, I, it's very hard to find stuff that she loves if it's not yeah, but, but bro, people love when people love hearing other people complain. So I I wanna I wanna. Are you looking? Are you looking to fuck people you follow to hit on? Uh, no, and uh, well, it's no, more. You don't, like... you, you don't gotta. You don't gotta. Um, no, 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 listen, listen, because uh, there's like, um, there's like a. It's just I can't. It would be kind of bad for me to like say the names, but there's like uh, people that, um, I 
follow. Am I um, am I on the list? No, no, yes. no. No, listen. Like, <laughs> oof. <laughs> oof. I, I was a bit afraid. <laughs> No, I, thought, like, I thought you hated me for a second. Okay, good. No, Why would listen. she be talking to you if she hated you? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like, we never know. We never know. Yeah, you know? Very like, true. No, no, no. But, like, there's people that I follow. Like, they're not, like, uh, super big or anything. But there's some people that draw, like, furry shit. And, like, some people that draw, like, Ooh, BL that looks like that looks like garbage. And, like, sometimes <laughs> I just go with my friend. And I'm like, yo, look at this fucking hand, bigger than the fucking, you know. Wow, door. you are you are savage, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, it's so fun though, because it's like, um, it's like, uh, how do I, how can I explain? It's like, it's just so funny because it feels so ironic that it's like a thing that I don't know. It, it feels, it, it's fun. It's funny. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's just funny. Yeah. It's just funny. It's just funny. yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's funny. funny. It's funny. <laughs> uh, no. But yeah, um, I guess, I guess. I, yeah, I kind of forgot um, what we were talking about. Exclusive we footage on? for our Patreon. It's exclusive Oh, fuck, footage. dude. I really nervous. <laughs> There's rats everywhere. You don't know who you trust. But no, no. Bro. Okay, it's okay. Leah, do, uh, do you mind putting that part in on, on our Patreon? If you do mind, we can cut that shit out. But I think it's a, it's a fun. I don't, I don't really. <laughs> yeah. I don't really care what you guys put in because it's like a. I don't know. It's a. Conversation because so. your humor it it it, uh, it reminds me of Venus and his uh, friends. They don't give a fuck about like what they say. But yeah, anyways, let's wrap up. Not wrap up, but let's kind of keep things pushing. We're, like we've been recording for two hours. It says. Wait, what? Really? I don't. Yeah. See it. Okay. Oh, it's you have because... to open chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. We so still, uh, we we still have questions. Oh, God yeah, damn. we still have questions, and we still have to ask her her top five manga and anime. Dude. Oh my you god. Know? Oh fuck! Yeah. So yeah, I let's let's keep it pushing. That. Let's keep it pushing. Okay. Let's 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 get it let's get it done quick like quick so you guys can go to bed or whatever whatever. But uh, Leah, we mm -hmm. do this with all our guests. We mm -hmm. want to know, and it's very on the spot on purpose. We don't want to give you time to think about it. Can mm -hmm. you give us your top five anime slash manga? So that means it could you can make a combined list of five that have both anime and manga in it. Or if you want, if you want, you can have a list of ten where you have five anime. And five manga separately, is that does that make sense? Is oh, so it's ten, ten only. You can do five or like five mixed, so like both anime and manga, or ten, basically five like two separate lists. So like one like a list of five anime and a separate list of five manga. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Um. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh shoot. Um. I think I'll. <laughs> I think I'll do five, five. I think that's a good. Uh... Five, five. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so I'd say that my top favorite, uh, manga... You don't, have to go in, you don't have to go in order, by the way. Okay, okay. It's not in order, but just okay, like good. the ones that I love, love. Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> I really like... I think I've, I've fucking mentioned this fucking manga, like, two times already in this goddamn podcast. Uh, uh the Doro e Doro. I love mm -hmm. Doro. Uh, yeah, I think you said, like, seven times already in this podcast. Yeah, like, like yeah, seven. Like, seven. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you, Dora, Dora. Okay, so you're an edge lord. I love okay. that one. I love the original Dragon Ball um, manga. Oh, okay. I like that respect. Okay, I didn't think you liked Shonen. Like you, she really hates. Based on what I've spoken with you about, Leah, you kind of don't really like the Shonen style. You know. Um, the thing is that uh, for me, like it tends to get uh, boring when there's like a like a. Like a constant switch between like, oh my god, like super sentimental, and then like, oh my gosh, mm. action, and I'm like, bitch, oh my god. Anyway, yeah. uh, like it, it kind of like <laughs> I don't know. So I, one of my other favorites of all time manga is mm. uh, Fist of the North Star. I love it. That um, sounds just like you, overly muscular, but that's so you, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Fist of the North Star. Okay, keep going. Yes. This is this is manga, right? Not anime. This is manga. In manga, manga. Um, right. I love it too, but like, no, it's not on the list. We have um, <laughs> shit. I just thought of them. And anyway, um, my my other favorite, which is like a pretty recent one that came out, but it's just like exactly my taste is Dan Dan. Dan. That one is exactly. Oh yeah, we talked about that. Dan Dan. Yeah, that that's ex I don't know how the fuck this. Third, she thinks she thinks it's better than Chainsaw Man. Like for real, like it it just touches like my taste so fucking well. Oh my it god! Touches, it touches your taste buds. Whoa! Yeah, Whoa. like hey, hey yo, 
Did yeah, you I, actually I, I just guess, say that? I guess I guess it's just preference, you know. It's very it's a subjective. She was like, she was like, it's drawn better. I agree with that. It's drawn better than Chase on my. But like, art is supposed to be, you know, subjective, whatever. But, but I would, I would, I, I'd understand that. But story, personally, so far, I prefer Chase on my. But Chase on my. But then again, I'm 100 chapters into Chase on Man. I'm like 18 chapters into Don and So maybe it'll yeah. change my mind. We'll see. Maybe, maybe. But, uh, but yeah, Don and Wait, I've mentioned three, right? Three. Yeah, you have. I think you mentioned three. I love uh, Baki. Um, oh, that's, that's so muscular ass, man. Yes, that's, that's... Oh, so uh -huh. good. Bucky the manga, okay. Yes, so good. I love. Oh my gosh, the the so, way the the, the, the bad what? anatomy doesn't bother you. The what? Like the air quote. The like air quote bad. So like it's not bad anatomy, but like you know, there's some made up muscles in there that doesn't bother you. No, because like the way that uh, the action scenes are drawn. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> go okay. look like. The way that the hands are drawn in, uh, mm -hmm. in Bucky, they're like a little bit okay. The thing that bothers me like a lot are the noses. That shit fucks me up. But like, um, <laughs> but the hands, the way that they're drawn, is mm -hmm. so good. Cause like you know when you um when they get all calloused after you uh you've fought for a long time and you've worked out a lot and they're kind of like thick and kind of mm -hmm. like kind of like not that flexible. You know that yeah. beats. So oh, who's eating? <laughs> Is that you, Leah? You're eating? Wow, how professional of you. I'm smacking oh. my lips in this fucking microphone. Um, no, no. Anyway, so, um, that, I have Baki, and then I have, uh, another manga. Oh, God, fuck. Um, what I'm thinking. I think this is your fifth one. Yeah, it's a, it's oh, a fifth God. one. Oh, God, wait. There was, there was a, No. Not that much. <laughs> I'm trying to guess. Just just knowing you, I'm trying to guess what it would be. Oh my gosh! Wait, uh, I have like I have like two in mind that I. Oh my god. Uh, I think. What about what about uh, that one that was just a fist on the cover? What is that called? That that one's called Touch. I mean, tough, tough. 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 That's not one of your favorites. It is one of my favorites, but I wouldn't put it in my top five. It's super good okay. though. Like that shit good mm -hmm. as fuck. I think I would have to say. Uh ooh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, you know, you're god. Fight, you're fighting for your life right now. I can hear the gears in your I'm brain turning. To, like I'm trying to like decide if it's like a good idea to like say this one. How but, bad uh, is it? No, it's like so, it's oh shit. Um, just say it. Just say it. if it's bad we'll cut it out. No, that's not bad. Um I say that uh Claymore. Claymore is one of my favorite Claymore. Favorite the Walmart Berserk. Dude, it's so... No, 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 no. You got it twisted. I've never read it, but that's what I've heard. They can play more as Walmart Berserk. They can suck... No. Uh, the thing is that... I, I, the, th the thing that I like about Claymore... As the story goes on, it's a little bit... Like, for me, I was like... Ah, come on. Like, like mm -hmm. do something. But there were, like, a lot of aspects of, like, how the... The story was set up in the beginning and, like how the main character like went through all of that and like the interactions between you know the characters i really like that and like it's always like in the back of my mind that i oh jesus oh my god like the designs <laughs> of the monster are so good like oh my god yo she's nothing again third god damn it <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's, she, she, yeah I, I i have the counter she's she's nutted 25 times this 25 this. times that sounds about right yeah. sounds about right mm -hmm. but yeah let's, yeah let's 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 speed run it your anime top five anime let's go let's hear it okay top five anime we have um dragon ball z <laughs> okay i love dragon ball z oh my god uh -huh. i don't um, i don't doubt that yes um jojo stardust crusaders mm -hmm. um i love stardust crusaders that's so good um cowboy bebop um okay. then it's we nice. have, yeah I, I love cowboy bebop it's really good um i like maybe actually can it be like a no, I don't know. like in a movie isn't fully coolly, fully coolly. Yeah, um, if, it's an, if, it's an anime, if it's an anime movie, that's fine. That was no. that was in my, that was in my top five. No, um, fully coolly, fully oh, coolly. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I cool watched it twice, and it's it's fun. You, know, you, can, you can watch that 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 series like sixteen times in a day. Like it's so okay, short. Okay, buddy. Like okay. it's really short. That's what I'm saying. I'm I mean, I, okay, okay. And uh, <laughs> how many? How many she had so far? Is that two or three? That's four. No, that's 
That's four, three. Uh, yeah, four. Yeah, it's four already. Four? Yeah, yeah four. he speed. She speed ran, like you said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. My, all right, last one, last one. Rent a girlfriend. All right, there we go. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's such a huge turn. Uh, <laughs> Um, the other one that I would say is um. If it's uh, an anime you, movie, you can you can add that. It's still anime. It's it's not a show. Okay, okay. So, Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho. Okay. Oh, shit, that's solid. A, yep, I like that. Solid, solid. Good, good shit. Okay, there we go. Yeah. That's there's yeah. nothing gross oh, about that, bro. Oh my god. Okay, can I be completely honest with you guys? Uh -oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm like my mind is fucked. Like my I I've I ha I've had this headache for like mm -hmm. six hours now. Well, you can't and quit, I motherfucker. Let's finish the goddamn podcast. What you? What you can't quit, bro? We, we we still have like questions to answer. Well, yeah, but what what do you propose we do? We just end it and continue later? No, no, just 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 not do the questions because they're they're too long. Let's just talk about something. Oh, else. oh, for sure, for sure, no problem, no problem. Fuck it, let's not. You didn't finish, <laughs> bro. Just okay. Let me finish first. Holy shit. I was like, what is this guy talking about? I was low-key shook. My bad, bro. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right, uh, so what? you just want to talk about something else or you want to end it here? Yeah, I, okay. I was. I, I wanted to talk about um, a manga that um, um, Leah, uh, Leah and I talked about for a bit. Oh, yes, me, Pun Pun. I don't oh, know if you guys okay. read it. Uh, well, I, I'd like happiness, so I didn't really read it that long. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you finish it, Leah? Yes, did I did. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she was eating. She had to mute. That shit was too good. Um, yeah. Bruh, it's oh, rice. What, like, what you, it's rice? Oh, bro, that's my shit. Did nice. you cry, Leah? I cried. Were, it was a picture of happiness. You said you cried? When you read uh, Pum Pum? Fuck no. Oh, damn. She's it's, savage. It's, it's, um, it's no. fucking... It, it, it's just fucked up. The story is fucked up. Like, it's uh, it's it's really uh, realistic. Like um, you like there's this like at least one moment, no multiple moments in manga where you can relate to any to someone. Honestly, I think uh, without any spoilers, there's this uh character like Poon Poon's uncle, where you just relate to him even though he's he's an, a full adult. I just I just I don't know I just like it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. You have to you, you like try to read it, Didi. I think it, you might. I don't think Get, I mean, I'll you, try, you might I'll get try. bored. You might get bored from it because it's not your type of genre. I remember but reading like if, seven chapters and I couldn't keep going, bro. Personally, yeah, if, yeah, you, yeah. It's it's not like it's not like oh this like oh this character uh, who like you you follow to fight these villains and to be cool. I'm like not I'm not that like I'm not this. that brain dead. I can read shit. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, come on. no, it's 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 like it's a story of a kid. Like you follow his childhood till you know to to his um from child to adult and mm -hmm. you just basically see like the what's the worst thing that could happen to a person and yeah, yeah. I'll watch it i'll watch no, it no way watch yeah it. Or, or, listen, like, or, or read it i guess i think <laughs> it's it's like it's an interesting read it didn't make me cry exactly um mm -hmm. because how can i say i i uh, like i was uh, looking at his like experiences and whatever and I like seeing, uh, like, the mistakes he made and, like, how the people around him, like, also uh, had, like, their own situation going on. Uh, the thing about it is that it is very sentimental. But, like, at least to me, when I, like, read stories like that, um, like, the whole, like, the whole, like, story of it, since I know everything that happened, and when I know everything, it kind of, like, doesn't make me cry. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, like... The more I know about the character, like, the less it makes me cry. Mm -hmm. uh, because, like, when I... Like, for example, when a, an old person dies in a movie... Oh, that shit. Should cry. <laughs> that should actually kind of, like... I'm like, Why? No. Did you watch Squid Game then? Or not? Squid Game? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did watch it. So, did you cry on that? Um, well, no. When the old man died? Did you well, cry on that? Well, it did make me kind of, like, super sad, but... It's more like the, like for example, like, like uh, in a movie they just put like a bridge fell on top of a, fell on top of a, a, a an old couple. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ! Damn. I think it would make me cry as fuck. Cause like, 
like just thinking that they were helpless and like had no possibility of like escape. it's funny because you have empathy but you also don't have empathy at the same you know what i mean it's is, it, is just... it is it does it have to be specific like for like old men because if they're kids they don't have like like possibilities of escaping that too they're gonna die no um, like if it's a kid too it's like a it's like a thing where there has to be like an implied like helplessness in in that sense. But like oh, when okay, that's so that's that's why you write your story. Like there's like giving hope. Um, yeah, like exactly. Hope because you 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 talk about that in your story. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's like one of those things where, like, one of the main themes of like the story that I'm writing has to do with like this intrinsic feeling of uh, self conservation and like conserving everything that you know and have value to it you don't really exactly know why you value it but it is a big part of like the way that you perceive who you are and the people that are around you and like that's yeah. why it's important to like the characters in the story to like maintain an aspect of it or like work hard towards it which is like in our human nature is like what we do almost every day like there's like a constant like you know, strive to maintain what we think works or what we are, like, what we already know. You know what I mean? Because, like, you know, and then um, Pun Pun didn't make me cry because, like, I already knew what he had done before. <laughs> and I was like, God damn it. I, like, I was more frustrated rather than sad. I was like, mm -hmm. fuck. It just ended up this fucking way. Like, it's so unfortunate. So, you know, it's like, but it, it's a good read though i really i i i've read it like like a, like three times already um but um i don't know it's just very interesting like the way that it's like set up but it's not my uh favorite series by amano <laughs> Damn. no yeah. yeah i don't i can't really say much about uh about pun pun because i haven't read it uh i would like to read it someday to be honest with you that's something i'm just saying i don't know if i actually will read it anytime soon because I don't really, I really don't have time to. But uh, I don't know. Like, there's no point in reading something that's just like sad, just sad. You know, like if I'm gonna read something, it just like it maybe has to have like another element to it. It can't just be sad for being sad. I don't know. Uh, because it's not about, I don't really get. I don't really get not, sad. It's, it's not about that. It's about uh, like uh, following a story of a kid and how he yeah, lives his, that, life, his decisions. Yeah. It's not just about oh, I'm he's sad. Oh fuck, it has a story. Yeah, but there's a reason that like I call, I have monkey brain, bro. I don't watch like movies that I don't know. I, I'm I'll try it. I'll try to try reading it or like seven chapters. I went seven chapters in, and I, it didn't really do anything for me. But I'll try it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll no, try it. I get what you mean? Because there's like no um, like that's why he's drawn like a little bird cartoon. Because like the only mm. aspect of like a, like just an al like a alteration of like reality. Mm any sense it's just like the way that he looks and uh, yeah. everything just feels like why are you looking at somebody else's life when you're living your own and going through your own situation because like there's no it feels like what's the point you know what i mean yeah yeah and, and it's i would i would sorry to cut you off Leah, but i would compare my experience like a story like pum pum with um when i read look back or goodbye airy and it says that they're not like it's not action there's no fights or whatever but I wouldn't I wouldn't normally read stories like that even because like there's not anything about it just like drawing me in like oh there's no action there's no like mystery do you read the reason I read look back was it's relatable look back yeah no no I mean the first yeah. the first real reason is because Fujimoto wrote it but yeah <laughs> no even honestly even if Fujimoto didn't write look back it's re it's relatable like if Fujimoto wrote look back and it was just like Let's say they were voice actors. I wouldn't read that shit. I don't care if it's Fujimoto. It's kind of like why I didn't finish. Yeah, that's, um, that's what that's what I said with Pun Pun too. It's relatable. Ah, uh, it is. Yeah, I, li I literally said like every character in the in the in Pun Pun, you can you can relate to to the characters easily. I, I don't know, but I, I had a, I had a pretty unique uh, ex life experience. Yeah, there's a character for everyone at least, like a uh, you know. In the story, and, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I give it. A, I give it a chance then. I give it a chance then. Okay. Well, is that is that all you want to talk about with uh, Pun Pun Third? Yeah, you yeah. seem really into it. No, no, it's done. Yeah. Actually, it, it was it was a pretty short talk. You guys can answer a question if you want. I I posted the the questions in the on the Discord. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's only fair. Let's do two questions because we we did ask and they took the time to write it. Let's let's be a little respectful and at least do two. Is that we okay, can, Leo? Use, or, unless you want to can, end we, it. We can use the same the same screenshots for the next episode too. Yeah, we we can we can we don't have to ask for next time. Um, by the way, this picture of Ghost Rider you put on here is so sick. Jesus Christ. Anyways, let's see. The what? Oh yeah, yeah. I know, right? Cool. All right, let's move on to some quick questions because we're all pretty tired. Well, third is pretty tired. Time I'm kind of just. What what time is it for you guys? We uh, both have, we're in the same time. We're not in the same time zone, but we have the same time, right? Yeah, ten thirty. Yeah, it 10:30? is ten thirty. It's ten thirty here too. Um. Fault. Yeah, Leah doesn't sleep. I don't know. She built different. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just kind of. I'm kind of just tired of being in entertainer mode. Not. I'm not that I'm trying, but uh, this is I agree. Anyways, let me find some two questions. Let's see. Mm, I'm, the questions are like this question like directed towards third, and I want something that Leah can answer. No, that's fine. Uh, it's fine. I like uh, listening to you guys uh, answer. Oh, I'm not sure if this is a good question, but what Go do you ahead, guys ask, think ask about? Me. What do you guys? Um, it, I'm not virgin. Asked uh, for <laughs> sure, man. For sure, for sure. Uh, what do you guys think about depression in the art journey? Think about depression in art journey, <laughs> Leah. I want you to answer this first. Depression in the art. Like yeah, depression I, as an artist. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I, I think it really depends on like the person's sort of perception of like their art. But to commonly, it's like oh, like I'm not good enough, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think a lot of it comes from uh, there's either comparing yourself to other people or like not being able to like when you see the result, it's not mm. what you expected. Yeah, uh, and uh, there's like, how can I say it? You just want it to be in a particular time um, when it, you know, when you want that sort of like uh, success or like fruit to all that practice you've had. Um, mm -hmm. But like to be honest, if you're not, um, let's say, I don't know, if you don't balance the stuff that you want to draw versus like the stuff that you, for example, have to practice, if you don't have like those times where you you do one to like replace the other and like keep drawing. Cause like that is essentially what you love, which is why you feel so sentimentally attached to it and getting depressed. Um, mm. You're not going to feel good. You just have to like go into like, you know, this auto mode where you're just drawing and doing it and like not exactly caring. And then when you're actually drawing to like express something you want, then it'll eventually like become better. Um, and uh, it's just a, just a, you know, point of being like patient because it'll happen. And it happens with a lot of professions as well, especially in like science. Um, almost everyone is fucking depressed. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> I can, I can, I can testify to that, yeah. Uh, and it's really like, like, I, like when I'm studying and everything in like uh, university, it's a, uh, it's very very common for people to like get the press because that like you know they don't like they're not doing well they don't feel enough um maybe they don't like what they're doing but they have to like they feel like they have to you know a lot of factors um and it just you just have to be you just have to think about what it is that you're doing and why you like doing it and then accepting the fact that you're gonna go through like a phase and then it'll go away um, and then you'll, you'll feel more accomplished as a person knowing that you went through like a rough patch and then you got out of it and now you even feel like you've gotten better um, sentimentally and like, you know, even at drawing. So it's like, you know, it's something yeah. you're going to go through, you know, not <laughs> eventually if you're going to draw. I get that. I get that. Uh, third, do you agree? Do like, you have anything to add with that? To that. yeah that's the, the most perfect answer for the question yeah honestly me mr talk a lot i don't think as much i can say to that but i will say because obviously i have to say something because i talk a lot um uh depression as an artist i think everything leah said is valid but i will also add that it's sort of like a kind of like an expected type of thing i think it's normal to feel depression maybe in the sense of maybe you compare yourself to others and whatnot uh, i mm -hmm. think that's kind of normal I think the important thing is to have fun. And that's something that a lot of us forget to do. Um, it's have fun, 
and have patience. If you ask me what is the most important skill every artist needs to have, it's not not perspective, it's not um, anatomy, it's uh, patience. So there's a lot of depression and like getting impatient at the fact that, well, I'm not as good as I thought I'd be right now. Or uh, you're getting impatient, you compare yourself to somebody else who's doing something better than you, and you're getting impatient, why can't it be like that? I'm, I'm practicing, I'm doing that. No, uh, patience as an artist, all they ask you to do is just, patience basically just asks you to like slow down uh, and just realize that you can only do the things that you can uh, control in that moment. There's, there's no point getting depressed or down or upset if things aren't going the way that you want. You kind of just need to have the patience to uh, realize that every artist is different. They work at different paces. Uh, you know, there's, there's so many aspects that patience like plays into what it like the, the, the journey of being an artist. And I don't want to talk too much about it because that is my next video, I think. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think. But I, I think I have something yeah. to add on that. Yeah, um, I, 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 it's not it's not just about art, too. Like when you said the most important thing about art is patience and and having fun i think it's just life in general you know mm. when you have different passions uh you know writing uh guitar like learning an instrument it's mm. like, just just have fun and passion but if we're talking about artistic uh you know about technicality the most important mm. thing is is like to learn how to improve is just observation you know but in general if you really want to keep a healthy relationship with your passion jesus that's that didn't make sense but yeah. Um, no, I get it. I get you, it. I get it. Yeah, if you, if you want to keep a healthy um, uh, mentality, just yeah. yeah, just have fun. Don't don't yeah. don't just stop giving a shit like Leah said. Yeah, honestly, speaking to yeah. Leah has kind of helped me not give a shit like more. You know, I'm kind of just being me. I don't really care. I kind of I've, I've stopped comparing myself to other artists for the most part. I've stopped kind of um, trying to impress other artists. I'm kind of just doing me and if you like it good on you if you don't oh well go fuck yourself and that's pretty much that's pretty much what i'm on right now yeah i think um if you're if like anyone in particular is like feeling like they're not able to um impress or do something like that the the thing that grabs people the most about your art or anyone in particular's art is just the fact of like how you're able to like express yourself and not being too scared of putting exactly what it is that you like like on the paper you know what i mean even if like you, would, mm -hmm. you know what i mean um yeah. if you if you feel like when you when you when you do like that piece right you you feel like it's this thing that you completely it's everything that you like on it you, you use the colors that you wanted even though it like you know breaks the rules of like anything you mm -hmm. like learn before anything like that you'll feel like you've done more than just having something that is like correct you know what i mean yeah yeah for sure for sure so, like, that's, and that's, so, that's so true yeah and it helps you get out of that like mentality of um being depressed over something that just doesn't feel enough because like mm -hmm. you know it'll be a subconscious thing of like feeling accomplished um sort of automatically at that point yeah yeah well damn that's that's a good answer we answered the shit out of that um i just remembered i think we got one patreon question let's let's answer that really quick and we can end this um so we have paid we have questions for my patrons by the way sub to the patreon if you want to get priority on questions because if you're a sub to the patreon and you ask a question we probably most likely will answer it unless it's like a really dumb one but anyways uh x-man on patreon asked how did how did you build the focus to maintain drawing for extensive amounts of hours of the day? Jesus. Is this like a like a general says, question? There says Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Pray to Jesus. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay. Quick, uh, just a quick advice to, to X-Men. Don't. Don't do what I do. Don't force it, I, I would say. Don't force it. Um, This is the, my workflow. I just like to draw. I just like to sketch. But... Same. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I, I managed to maintain my, like my, my workflow because I, I'm having fun at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you, if you don't have fun, like drawing for eight hours straight, don't do it. It's just not healthy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's good. That's good. What about you, Leah? Real quick. What do you think about that? <clears throat> I fucking hate sitting and drawing for multiple hours at a time. Cause like I am more of a. I say I I want to get it out like I just want to like vomit it. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. 
you yeah, draw a like, burst. You draw a short burst. So yeah, I cause like, yeah, exactly. Because uh, I I really like doing stuff like different things. Um, and uh, that's why I've like kind of every time like I have like this sketch burst. It's it usually only lasts like uh, like two hours kind of, and I I get a I get plenty done, but it's just mm -hmm. like not. I just can't sit down for that long. And what yeah. I do is just like um, get up and just like like take a walk or something, and I get get back at it if I really want to finish something. But mm -hmm. there are times when you have like this like I don't know like you just have like this obsession with something you're doing, and you just can't like mm. you know yeah. get up like just oh my god. Um, so having fun, so having fun, pretty much. Like yeah, you're yeah, really yeah. into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not maybe not like having fun per se, but more like you are right in that moment you're seeing the detail you want to fix but it takes like like a long time to like finish like that detail um and like hours pass and you're still on it um mm -hmm. like this focus kind of like thing that you have um but the thing is that if you let's say you're having trouble um keeping that up uh just drawing for multiple hours at a time then you shouldn't do it because it's n just not something that you're I able believe. to do it naturally, you know what I mean? If you force it, then you're going to get burnt out really, really bad. You're going to start drawing shitty. I agree. Um, my answer to this question is pretty much a combination of both what they said. Uh, basically, don't force it, right? You don't want to force it, but also you need to recognize when you're just being... Maybe lazy is not the word, but maybe you run out of motivation. Maybe you probably started drawing the first thing because you're motivated and like the motivation is gone now. It's like, ah, I'd rather go play video games. It's like... If you have a deadline or something or you really have to get it done in a specific time period you need to like keep pushing but like be careful of not entering the territory of like you really don't want to be drawing but you're forcing yourself to go right you want to force yourself to keep going if you know you just want to stop because you're lazy does that make sense do you guys get you know what i mean exactly yeah yeah, if, yeah. yeah. dedication yeah, that yeah exactly dedication like even if you don't feel like if you don't feel like it you got you got to keep going but yeah, you, like your uh, depend, body will. It, mm -hmm. Go ahead, there. Oh, sorry. So uh, it depends on the uh, the the situation too. Like there are moments when we're kind of late. Uh, for example, in in God Game, we have to finish mm -hmm. this episode. You just have to force yeah. yourself to draw, basically, just to finish a a job yeah. that you're paid at. <laughs> that is true. If, if you're getting paid, there's no excuses there. But yeah, real quick, next question, so we can uh, call this uh, episode. I really enjoyed this episode. God, Leo, you are a talker. Honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if some people start asking. You're to be a, a content partner. machine, dude. You're a content yeah. machine. People we have been asking if, you, if we add a, if, People have been asking if we wanted to add a third person. I wouldn't be surprised if people were saying your name because you, you be talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're talking a lot. You can talk alone and be. Yeah, that's that's true. Next question is by Elliot B. How much does real life history and or philosophy have an impact on your storytelling? That is a good question. Mm. That's a very good question. A, a little bit. Just a little just bit for third. Mm -hmm. just, yeah um i think i got uh i got too interested in like uh in world war Two, and mm -hmm. a little bit of world of the first world war Two, but more on the uh uh the nazi conflict and the mm. uh, urss thing but that's that about it you know and it's mm -hmm. just, it's just i i that, that just fucked me up when i discovered that and i'm still interested <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, what was that laugh? Jesus! No, no, it's like it's so, it's kind of funny. I, no, I mean, yeah, I the, know it's the funny. That, in the way that you're, uh, that you're like just like super captivated by like World, World War, War II, II. When most yeah. people I know are like, "Fuck again!" I've, you, oh god, I'm one of those. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's why I thought it was funny. I I think it's cool that you <laughs> like it a lot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Leah, what about you? Is it fucked up? Sorry, sorry. Is it fucked up that, <laughs> that I'm interested? To no, no, no. Because... No, no. Those are... I think, okay. Maybe... No. Okay. May, it's complex. Okay. 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 I think I have my reason. I think it's it's like... It, it's not realistic for me because I've never... I can't imagine six million dead bodies in one place. I just can't. I just can't. Well, you, okay, you know. you're really getting into this, huh? That's crazy. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no, my, no apologize. My, my, no my tiny, my tiny brain can just. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, no, I can't, I, I can't imagine I, that either. I can't imagine that either. When I watched Schindler's List, I thought it was a documentary, documentary because it looked so fucking real. 
Damn. I don't know. My 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 mind is is frail. My mind is weak. Uh, I That's get crazy. I get nightmares easily. Okay, I'm buddy. <laughs> I messed up. I'm not like you guys. You guys are strong. Uh, say, bro. I'm I'm just. I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. Again. I'm just. I'm I'm mm-hmm. a broken. I'm a broken man. I'm being held up together with shit duct tape. But yes, Leah. What about you? <laughs> How much does real life history and or philosophy uh, have an impact on your storytelling? I think philosophy has a kind of a very significant kind of a uh, plays a significant part in like a lot of the the ways that the characters sort of act not because of like actual possibly mm-hmm. like physical, uh, yeah. philosophical uh, theories it's more of like how those theories come to be and how much of like a pseudoscience um, psychology is yeah um <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he's um, shit, shitting on psychology like a true bio student. How, for how real, yeah. every goddamn bio student <laughs> in, in this fuck listening to this podcast knows what I'm talking about. But yeah, like, sure. um, but yeah, I'd say that for me, like in most stories, like how I just said, like being like a, a science student, that's most of like what inspires me, and like how um, uh, the understanding I have of it, of like everything that I learn. Uh, mm plays a big part in like how I uh, sort of write the stories um, in a sense. Okay, that was good. Sorry, I was drinking water. That was good. Uh, personally for me, uh, history, no, I don't really give a shit about, I mean, I like history, but I, I don't, I'm not going to put it in my stories. I don't give a fuck about that unless it calls, unless the story calls for it, whatever. But philosophy, yeah, I've always played around um, or I've always been fascinated with the philosophical question of um, essentially determination and like free will or whether, like whether or not uh, we inherently in, inherently have free will and whether or not from the moment we're born there's always there's just like a a route that we're supposed to end up with like for example criminal who's a criminal uh there's a philo- there's a philosophical question of whether god this is a lot of words it's fucking up my tongue there's a philosophical question of whether or not that kid or that child was always meant to be a criminal from the day they were born that nothing they would have done different in their life would have changed that outcome does that make sense you know mm-hmm. that they were just born to be that way so i've always wanted to explore mm-hmm. that with my characters usually i like to take two characters two different people from like similar backgrounds and kind of like set them on the same journey and i like to even for myself personally as a writer i like to see where they end up at the end of the story and i've had story ideas where it's the uh complete extreme where two kids from the same orphanage will go down this the the, the same routes in life and one ends up like a really crazy ass super villain and one ends up like a really loved superhero you know what i mean it's like mm-hmm. and then and then i make the audience wonder of well why did one end up this way and the other didn't was it this was this one just meant to be a uh, a bad guy and like was this one just meant to be a hero right like mm-hmm. does and that's that's the only philosophy that i like to put in my story because i took a philosophy class in college and it i really got fascinated when we talked about that and i've i always put that in my stories even in the stories that i have nowadays now that's in there and yeah that that's that's my answer to that question did you guys wanted to add anything else at all before we move on no that was a good answer no okay lovely yeah good very good so, very good uh, very good answer. we have heard okay buddy nice accent we've heard a very lovely leah uh <laughs> aka carbon fiber a very lovely lady god she could man she's so poised with her manners and everything she could be the queen <laughs> of england but we've heard the lovely leah and we've heard the two resident clowns, third and myself. So yeah, before we go, Leah, do you want to like plug yourself? You know, shout out anything. Like, where can they find you? Where can they follow you at? Where you like, just shout yourself out. Um, uh, I guess. Well, I don't know. Um, I how can I say? I, <laughs> you can follow me like on Instagram, like. Why did you struggle to say that? Why did you struggle to say follow me on Instagram? What what, what was that? Because like, how can I explain? It's like not uh, like if okay, if you expect like super finished, polished, um, oh man, I do not fucking follow me. I swear to God, I do. They would not love know your art, Leah. You're being you're being insecure. They would love your work. Stop trying to make excuses for it. They would love it. Yeah. So your that's your Instagram is Carbon Fiber. What about your Twitter? Carbon Fiber. <laughs> Car- carbon fibers where i like hey, consistency branding branding you know and on tiktok that's what you do you like your little dances and your challenges oh yeah so you find her on- i sure don't know um i don't do <laughs> you have TikTok? no no, no, no. I don't think I have no, I don't TikTok, no. fuck no 
That's you know that TikTok? Yeah. That, that, bra- that, that app will ruin your brain. But follow my TikTok, though. <laughs> okay. Wait, you still use TikTok? Hell no, I just I don't even use that shit, bro. I haven't opened it in a long time. Yeah, me neither. Good, fuck good for you. More problems. Yeah. yeah, fuck that app. Um, so that's, Twitter and Instagram, that's where they can find you at. I'm most yeah. fucked. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's, Anything sorry. else? <laughs> this this question is is kind of funny. Sorry, before before you end the the you the, 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 the podcast. Out. No, I just wanted to point it out. This guy, Franklin, asked, can you draw with your right hand? I can. I'm right-handed. <laughs> yeah. Third, are you left-handed? That's... Yeah, I'm left-handed. I mean, I know that, that most artists I know are right-handed. And the fact mm-hmm. that this dude is suddenly, <laughs> like, assumed that we're all left-handed, it's kind of Lee, funny. are you left-handed or right-handed? I can write with both. But I'm can... next. Oh, but shit. I, can't, I can't draw with both. <laughs> You can write yeah, with see, both. That's still impressive. God, when I write with my am- left, I write like a retarded child. Oh, God. Yeah, Mugu, I know. Mugu, Mugu, cut that out. Put Mugu, that in. Put that retard. No, retard, no, retard. no. No, Mugu, cut that shit out. I'm not, I'm Don't a retard. Don't Yo, cut getting, that out. Yo, chill. I'm getting sponsors now, bro. I got to be careful what I say, dude. What the fuck? Hey, come um, on. They don't They don't give a shit. I got to be PC, man. I got to get me some free oh, They don't tablet. give a shit, bro. Uh, they, they, they sponsored um, people who, has, who have dark humor, so... I don't, don't know any that. dark humor. Every dark humor person I know is black huh? on YouTube. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 about to I'm about to send you ten YouTubers who. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, don't worry. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. No, no, no fuck. No fuck. But anyways, yeah. yeah. Anyways, this has been a great episode. Thank you, Leah, for coming on. You're welcome to come back anytime you like. You are right. definitely a fun personality, and uh, Leah is my one of my uh, good friends. Right along third now. So wow, guys, look at me. Character growth. I I now have two friends. I'm no longer oh. acquaintance. You meant acquaintance. Oh wow, we're gonna get shot down. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Fuck with you. But um, anyways, if you um, enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit like if you're on YouTube. If you're on Spotify, congratulations. And um, yeah, subscribe to the Patreon, and you can get a extended version of this episode where we say things that we had to cut out for the final version because it could get us canceled. Maybe. We may have that on Patreon, but still yeah. sub though. Uh, and yeah, with that said, any last words, lady and gentleman? Uh, yeah, gentleman. Okay. Uh, 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 sleep well. Don't don't uh, dehydrate. Okay. Drive, drive safe. Drive safely drive. for the Spotify listeners. All right, mm-hmm. that's drive safely for the Spotify listeners. That's true. That's true. And yeah, uh, this has been the Arcast Podcast. Till next time, bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. See you.